surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Hero Essentials here. Today's video is inspired by candle holders. I'm going to try and recreate this look and turn them into pretty nesting tables. I'm going to be starting off with cardboard and I'll be using this for the base of the side tables. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I made two of this because I'll be making two tables. I'll be using duct tape to hold where the cardboard stops. I need the inside to be smooth and as you can see the cardboard on the inside is kind of rough so I'm going to be using poster board inside. I'll be using thick wooden dolls for this project. I took them out and I spray painted them gold. This is the cement that I'll be using for this project and it sets really, really fast. That's why I always use it. I'll be mixing this with water, pouring it into the shape that I made and then inserting the dolls inside. The mixture for the first table is okay, but then I made sure that the mixture for the second table is much thicker than the first one. This sets super fast. After two hours, it was super strong, but then I just left it for three hours. And then now I'm going to be removing the cardboard around it. The doll at the bottom came out a little bit more and could cause some kind of scratch on the floor when you've been moving it around. So I decided to use felt pads to level it up and also make it easy to move around without leaving scratches on the floor. I'm going to sand down the sharp edges by the sides. For those of you who want simple decors, this is okay the way it is. You just put a tabletop on it and you're good to go. But because I'm trying to go with the inspiration photo, I'll be using Christmas ornament balls to decorate the middle of the table. Yeah. 
I tried using a box cutter to open them up, but as you can see, that didn't really turn out so well. So I'm going to be using a soldering iron instead. Now, if you're not comfortable using a soldering iron, please ask for help. When making the holes, you should make sure that it fits in a snug way through the dowels. Because I'm using the inspiration photo of the candle holders, I'll be leaving some space in between them. As I was doing this, I made sure that the space in between them is the same. For the top, I'll be using this stylish chalkboard that I got from Hobby Lobby. It was going for $7.99, but I was lucky that day that it was on sale for 50% off. Now I'm going to make a hole in the middle to attach it to the wooden dowel. For stability, I'm going to be adding a small thick round wood first before then attaching the bigger one on top. While making the holes in the ornaments, I noticed that some were loose for the second stool. So to keep them in place, I'll be using zip ties and a strong adhesive. I spray painted the bottom part white. and glue gems at the top. The rough edges were covered with gold trim. I then glued mirrors on both tables. These are such pretty and unique pieces and they can also carry most heavy decor items. This is a lovely gift idea on a budget, especially now that Christmas is coming up. I used gold ornament balls because I was trying to imitate the look of the candle holders, but this is going to look pretty if it's in silver as well. I hope you all enjoyed this video and learned one or two things from it. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button. 